Welcome to this week's episode of For Real Fridays. Today, I wanna to call out homeowners on some of the common things we find during a home inspection that people seem to just forget about in their homes. Some of these may seem basic, but they can be problematic, so I always find these worth talking about. So if you have found yourself with some spare time during this whole quarantine thing, consider addressing some of these items in your home. So first is change your furnace filters. This should be a basic home maintenance thing, but a lot of people either forget or totally neglect this. A general rule of thumb is that it should be changed every 90 days. Every filter can vary, so like look at them based on their recommendation, but I find the most important thing is household factors. Like if you're undergoing a renovation, that definitely needs to be more frequent, and same if you have pets in the house. We change ours about every 30 days because we have two dogs. Some of the filters we see in a home inspection are disgusting. Like, people just forget about it. So the next is clean your dryer vents. I have to admit that in our house, we are guilty of not doing this as frequently as I know we should, but it is so important. Lint, if it's not cleaned properly, can build up over time and cause a house fire. It's just a good exercise to pull your dryer out, unplug it, disconnect the vents on both ends, clean out the lint trap and the areas where the pipe are connected, and ensure that your exhaust port outside is also not filled with lint and not broken. Another thing is most people recommend those rigid pipes versus the flexible sort of coil looking pipes. The flexible ones can be more prone to collecting and accumulating lint, where the rigid ones have less spots sort of for it to get trapped. So for the safety of everyone in your house, please ensure you are addressing your dryer lint. So next is check your carbon monoxide and smoke alarms. The biggest thing with these are the expiry dates. It can vary by model, so look at your manual, but it's typically every seven to 10 years that these units expire. And if you have a battery powered model, the rule of thumb is to change the batteries whenever it's daylight savings time, so twice a year. So these units do save people's lives, so make sure yours aren't expired and make sure they are meeting the guidelines. Seriously, you would not believe how many old smoke alarms I've seen, like yellow, look like they've been there since the 90s. I'm finding there are just too many instances where the home inspection report is indicating that there are expired alarms in people's houses. So next up is pop your head in the attic. A lot of people just forget about this space. It's like out of sight, out of mind. It is personally my least favorite moment of a home inspection when the home inspector is going into the attic. There can be so many problems up there. The most common is of course mold. For example, if soffits are blocked or a bathroom vent has somehow become disconnected, it can create the perfect environment for mold to grow. This is just a spot in the house that's worth popping your head into like once a year to ensure that what's happening up there is a healthy attic environment. So this last one can be super annoying to do, but with spring here, it is the perfect time to be plugging away at it. It's cleaning your eaves troughs and downspouts. All of the debris from the fall and winter often gets left and can cause issues for your roof, but even worse, your foundation. The purpose of your eaves and downspouts is to redirect water away from your home. So if you're plugged up, you can get pooling of water in places that you do not want water to be pooling. This is the one where you wanna be really safe and smart while you're doing this since it is up high or usually on a ladder, but it is a really important piece of the exterior maintenance of your home. We just see so much neglect for these items in the home inspections we do, and a lot of them are really minor. So I thought putting together this list would be worthwhile so that it maybe cues you while you're in this quarantine period to address some of these smaller items that can fall through the cracks. Good luck if you decide to tackle any of these projects this weekend. Have a great weekend, everyone.